guys, this is Inside the NFL Today. My name is Damon, and we're doing 32 teams. We're talking about the Buffalo Bills today. Now, to start off, before I talk about actually the team stuff um, and from 2012, I'm going to tell you guys, I think the Buffalo Bills are one of the most interesting teams draft-wise because I think their pick is going to determine a lot as to the way the rest of the draft is going to go, especially because um, their pick depends on a lot of what the Cardinals do, and they're going to have a lot of options at their pick. So um, I'm going to talk about the 2012 season, now we'll talk about the draft in a little bit. So I uh, start out with 2012 season, obviously they had a fantastic rush defense, that was one of the reasons that they did as well as they did, and they weren't lower in the draft. Um, they had fourth on rush offense, and that was fourth in yards on rush offense, and that was actually pretty good considering their record. Um, on pass offense, obviously you guys know they need a QB, um, so I'm going to look for them to look to get one in the first or second round in the draft. I don't think they're going to get one out of free agency because there's just not that much available in free agency. I think they're going to go to the draft for it, take their chances in the draft. Now, as far as defense goes, they were 30th in rush defense, which is pretty bad. Um, that's going to be one of the positions they're going to focus uh, to try to help in the offseason, outside linebacker, linebackers, and maybe a little D-line, um, too. Now, as far as pass defense goes, they actually did a pretty good job. Um... And that's something I really kind of want to focus on this team. They can build on it. They had Jerry Spurd, who is probably one of the top safeties in the NFL. He's going to be one of the guys they have to sign as a free agent off this offseason. He's going to require a lot of money. So um, another recap from last season, Mario Williams, their big free agent signing, uh, had a six-year, $96 million contract. He's a bust. Now, I know you guys may in the comments say stuff like, uh, he had 10.5 sacks, how is that a bust? If you're getting paid over uh, like 15.2 million, I think, a uh, year, he needs to be making better than 10.5 sacks. He's uh, one of the top defensive ends getting paid in the league, if not the top. And um, he really needs to be doing better than that. He needs to be getting closer to 20 sacks. Um, honestly, I would have considered it a bust if he got less than 14 sacks. I think 14 sacks would have still been pitiful for his contract amount. And he got 10.5. So if he doesn't improve uh, this next season, I'm going to be a little bit. I would be a little bit angry at him as a Buffalo Bills fan because he w he's wasting your guys' cap space. So and now to go on to free agency, they have about 19 million in space after cutting some contracts, and just today they franchise tagged uh, Jarius Bird. I don't know how much that is exactly, but that's going to account to uh, a lot of that. Not uh, over 10 million, but I think it's going to uh, count towards close to 10 million. And with the rest of that money, I don't think they're going to do a huge amount. They uh, may try to re-sign their offensive lineman, uh, Andy Levent Leventry, I think. Um, I don't know how to say his name. Sorry, guys. Um, but I think they might try to re-sign him. They haven't tried to talk with him, which may be a good thing for other teams who need an offensive guard. But as of right now, I'm going to look for them to maybe try to get him, a co him in a contract. If not, they'll have about $9 million to $12 million to spend. And uh, I don't know if they're going to spend it on a big guy. I think they're probably going to get a lot of little guys to try to fill maybe a few small holes. But overall in free agency, I don't think they're going to do much. Now as far as the draft goes, they have a huge amount of options. And this is where I really want to focus for this team because this team is probably uh, the most interesting draft team I've covered so far. A lot of the other teams have one or two really choices for their pick. Kansas City Chiefs have a lot of ways they could go, but they're probably going to end up going Luke Jokel because he's uh, one of the best offensive linemen in the draft. And um, with them taking Luke Jokel, the, um, Geno Smith might drop to the Cardinals. And if Geno Smith drops to the Cardinals, that'll be an interesting decision for them, whether they draft him or Chance Warmack. I honestly think the Cardinals should draft Chance Warmack, but as far as the Buffalo Bills go... Um, they might draft Geno Smith. They really have four options here, in my opinion. They have Geno Smith, who's the best quarterback in the draft, even though he's really not amazing. Uh, they have Cordero Patterson, who's the best wide receiver in the draft. And he's got a lot of raw talent, and he's got a lot of speed and quickness. They could choose Jarvis Jones, in my opinion, one of the best outside linebackers in the draft, if not the best, at rushing. Um, and they have Barkevious Mingo. The only reason I throw Barkevious Mingo outside linebacker in that I mix is the team might be scared of Jarvis Jones' uh, spinal issues. Um, if you guys don't know, he has some like back or spinal issues. I haven't looked too much into it yet, um, but it may warrant some teams to be able 
to not want to take him that high in the draft, and he may drop because of that. So that's the only reason I could see him drafting Barkevius Mingo, but it'll be one of those four guys. Personally, I'd like to see him draft Corderell Patterson and then get a quarterback in the second round, whether that's Tyler Wilson, who I think he's the best second-best quarterback available, or uh, if they get another guy like Mike Glennon or E.J. Emanuel or somebody like that. So as far as the draft goes, I'd really like them to draft Corderell Patterson first round because I think he'd be a good fit for them and good pick for them. And second round, I think I'd really like them to draft Tyler Wilson if he's still on the board. Now, as far as what I think they're going to do, because as I talk to you guys always, I always have an opinion and what I think they're going to do. And in the draft, that in a lot of cases, that's different. Um, so what I think they just should do is draft Cordero Patterson and Tyler Wilson. What I think they're going to do is if Geno Smith drops them, I think they'll be pretty tempted at drafting him. And I think it'll come back down to a last-minute decision. And they'll wait for a team to either try to trade up to them or they'll draft Geno Smith. I think if Geno Smith is there... It may just be too good of an offer for them in the past because he's dropped through so many teams. Now, that's not what I like them to do because I don't think they should go like that, but I think that might be how it goes. So, as far as their 2013 season goes, I think this team has a good amount of potential. They're pretty solid on pass defense. They're pretty solid on rush offense. And if they can cover uh, um, rush defense or if they can cover pass offense and elevate that to be another one of their strengths. I really think this team has some pen potential to do better. Um, and maybe even challenge New England this year and be a surprise team and get the division. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but if they get a good quarterback, like if they draft Geno Smith or Tyler Wilson, they have they might have a good chance if they can really develop the guy. It'll really depend. This team hasn't had a franchise quarterback since Jim Kelly, so that may be one of the reasons they're more tempted to draft Geno Smith in the first round. But I really expect them to get a uh, quarterback either first or second round, no matter who that is. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is going to be a really interesting team to see where they go in the draft this year. And uh, as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. It would help me out a lot. I'm going to try to give you quality NFL videos every time I record. They're going to be based on, fa based on facts followed up with my opinion. So um, these are all my opinion-based you don't have to agree with what I say, but thanks for watching, guys. Ho hope you liked the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you liked it, and thanks for watching. Uh, my mock, one more note, my mock draft will be coming out. My first mock draft will probably be coming out this weekend. Um, if you guys don't see too many videos on today and tomorrow, which is today is Friday when I'm posting a video tomorrow, Saturday, that's because I'm going to be focusing on uh, reading up a lot for my first mock draft. I'm probably going to do a video in two parts. The first 16 picks and the second 16 picks because it's going to be a pretty long video and I'm going to analyze each pick for more than a minute or two. So it may be more than two or three parts. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. And subscribe for more NFL Daily. See you guys later.